Babe, so how long is your flight? It's about two hours. It shouldn't be long. We should be there pretty quickly. He said, well, I know this is something you've been planning for for a long time. And I don't want your hard work to go unnoticed. You're going to nail it. You're going to kill it. And you're going to be the face of this firm. She said, well, thank you, babe. I really appreciate that. That really means a lot. But what you can do for me is, can you take my bag downstairs, please? He said, of course. Mom, when you actually come back, can we plan a trip to go to Florida? Because I always wanted to go to Disney World. She said, babe, come on, your bus is here. He said, wait, Masai, you're not going to give your mama a hug before you leave? He's like, sorry, I'm just super excited. He said, I know, babe, give mama a kiss and the sugar, and I'll see you when I get back. You have a great day at school. Bye, Masai. Bye, Mom. Girl, if you don't put down that phone and stop looking at those notes, you do not need to practice any more than you already have. You got this in your back pocket. Hello, ladies. Um, I do want to let you guys know that I got our tickets and everything, and our flight should be taken off pretty quickly. Flight 126 is boarding. Flight 126 is boarding. Please make sure you grab all of your belongings. Look, we're not going to argue in this waiting room. We're going to get our ultrasound done. We're going to check our little bean, and we're going to go about our business, and we'll talk about this other stuff another time. She said, you always want to push stuff to the back. Look. I'm trying I'm serious hello guys I'm Dr. Richards I'll be examining you today as well as doing your ultrasound I do have a few family history questions as well as I want to prescribe you a prenatals but we're going to go ahead and have you lie on the bed and I'm going to go ahead and examine you and check on how your baby is doing and tell you how many weeks you are currently pregnant what I'm going to do is put a little phone on there we're going to hear the baby ultrasound might be feel a little weird, but look at that little baby. There's his heartbeat. He or she is her heartbeat, and you know, she said, "Oh my goodness, look at him, Kayla, for her." He said, "I see it." She said, "Well, that's pretty much it." Um, if you guys have any questions, please don't hesitate to call or reach out because I am here for you guys every step of the way. Look, why are you crying? She said, because Caleb, you're married, and I'm having a baby with a married man, and I just don't know how I feel about it. He said, look, I don't want you to stress out. Just let me handle this. Girl, that was a long flight. She said, yes, because we had to lay over because of a, a passenger who had an emergency. She said, I know, but I'm glad the person was okay. I'm so ex happy that we made it here so we could actually relax our feet. She said, girl, are you really excited for tomorrow? She said, I am. She said, boss lady, I've seen you work in your sleep. I've seen you work long hours, early morning, late nights, and... You got this in your back pocket. Like, you got this. She said, well, I appreciate that. She said, we definitely deserve a cute spa day after this is all over, said, and done. She said, most definitely. She said, with that being said, how are you and Caleb? Girl, we're doing better. Taking it day by day. Um, You know, he's been very nice lately. And so, we'll see where this goes. We do have a therapy session tomorrow. We get back in town. So, we're going to see how that goes. But other than that, you know, girl, I'm just going to take it one day at a time. She said, well, I know that's right, girl. God will not give you more than you can handle. But let's go ahead and kick our shoes off and order some carry out because we have a long day ahead of us tomorrow. Dad, stop cheating. You always cheat. He said, son, I'm not cheating. I'm playing fair. Hey boss lady, she said good morning Adrian. help yourself to some coffee if you would like, our lift should be here in about a few minutes. She said well boss lady I have everything packed away and ready to go for your presentation so you're going to kill it. She's like thank you Adrian. would you go ahead and sit on a relaxer because we got a few minutes before it's time to go. Let's say a quick prayer before we actually head out the door. Good morning, ladies and gents. Thank you guys for coming to our presentation. Without any further ado, I'd like to introduce you to our CEO, Caesar Johnson. Thank you guys so much. Thank you, thank you. I don't want to hold you guys long because I know this company is my everything. But I want to introduce Denise Richards to the stage. Thank you guys for having me, and I'm really, truly, honestly grateful to be here. I wouldn't be here today if it wasn't before my team sitting before you. 
the much teamwork they put into this company is what drives me to make sure that this company will have equity for years to come. Teamwork is very important to me. Let me just show you guys how much we can work together to make this company a better place. Here I have a few statistics where I feel like this pie chart can help us grow as a whole, but grow worldwide. Here are these numbers, and I think you guys should take a look. We did amazing out there. All these drinks are for each and every one here. Give you guys a pat on your back because we wouldn't be where we are without you guys. Denise, 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 Denise. Caesar, thank you guys for being here. And let's party and let's have a great time. Bitch, y'all, these drinks, I'm feeling a little lit. I don't know about you, so hold on, I gotta go to the party. Excuse me, sir. Christian? She said, oh my God, what are you doing here? He was like, no, long time no see. She said, I cannot believe I'm seeing you right now. Like, I'm a little tipsy, but is it really you? He was like, yeah, Denise is me. He said, how have you been? I've been living life, Christian. I'm currently on a work trip, but I've been working for this company, this global company. I'm also married. And I have a son. He's like, wow. And through all that, you're still as beautiful as ever. <laughs> he said, well, how are you? Do you? Are you married with kids? He said, no, I was engaged, but I don't have any children. I want children, but with the right woman. He's like, wow, but maybe you're not looking out here. Well, sometimes what you want is right in front of you. He said, come on, drinks on me. Bartender, who was that fine specimen? Can we get a round of drinks, please? She said, you don't have to get us any drinks. No, I want to. You guys are celebrating a great success. And I'm just celebrating because I'm able to breathe another day. And also because I never thought in a million years we would run into each other again. She said, Christian, you stop. You're making me blush. She said, well, if your husband was making you blush at home, you wouldn't be blushing right now. And she's like, uh, uh, uh. You still the same. He said, yep, and he is, period. He said, but just to relax, enjoy your drinks, you know? No strings attached. We're just talking and having fun. And she's like, there's nothing wrong with that at all. Well, Christian, is definitely good seeing you. We're probably going to end up getting out of here soon because we do have a flight to catch. But we definitely can exchange numbers and I'll keep in contact with you. He said, I would really like that. babe how are you so i'm doing good messiah hi baby she said how are you he said i miss you mom hello thank you for coming such so late so no 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 worries i'm happy to be here well, how have you guys been how's life treating you and, well, life has been great. I just actually came off a work trip. And me and Caleb are actually doing better. Um, he's home more. He's helping out with Messiah more. And he's understanding how much I have to put and dive into my work. Well, that's amazing. She said, I definitely want to talk to you guys together as well as individually today. Just to kind of see where you guys heads at. Because, and honestly, what you each guys say separately, I will not disclose to the other person. Because it's confidentiality. But I would like to start with you first, Denise, because I want to do Caleb last. So I think I would like that. I think that's a good idea. So tell me, how's everything been going? She said, I see a spark about you. She said, I don't know. I've been, I mean, things been going great between us. Um, she said, no, I feel like there's something else. Well, I did run into my ex on my work trip. And it brought up some old memories, and he's definitely got better looking over time. She said, well, that's normal. That's normal. But she said, how are you doing? Quite frankly, I really do not know. She said, well, let me go ahead and speak with Caleb. Caleb, you're up next. Hi, doctor. So, Caleb, how are you doing? I'm doing good. I'm still trying to figure out how to better communicate with my wife. Um, you know, I'm still going through a few things, but 
I'm not ready to share just yet. I do need to talk to Denise about something, but I just don't know how to talk to her. But he said, the first things first, it's always being truthful. It's just coming from the bottom of your heart. Truth sometimes hurts, but it's better to tell the truth than a lie. He was like, thank you, doctor. I will definitely keep that in mind. I want you guys to keep doing the homework that I gave you because practice makes perfect and things will get better over time. But thank you so much for meeting with us and we'll walk you out.